Sunny Chase, and this is Singing in the Rain, and this has been the most singing month of my life, I think, here at UBN, because today we are going to be bringing it about Raj again, Rhythm and Joy Festival at the end of this month, August 30th, and we'll be giving the details and all that, but I have today people, people who sing and people who bring music in all kinds of different ways. I We're going to be talking to Ali Stroker, get ready for that, and Danny Shea, and we are going to be talking to Laura Sharp, who is a, an inspiring, incredible person, as all of you guys are, um, and she has an organization called Artists for Trauma, who are the sort of heroes of Raj, I will just say. So <laughs> you know what? We're bringing the power of one, we're bringing the music, we're bringing the Raj inspiration and everything that we can about Raj today and just supporting all you guys and thank you for being here. I'm just so excited. So John, let us bring our first guest on, shall okay. we? <laughs> so we have, um, do we have Laura on? Okay. Sure. Okay, do we have applause? We will have our students to <laughs> I cannot not have applause. I don't know. It just kind of does it for me. Woohoo! Laura, Laura, yay. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks, Sunny. Very uh, exciting to be here. Love your show. Thank you. So, Artists for Trauma. Artists for Trauma. Um, can you tell us a teeny bit about Artists for Trauma? I'm going to let you do it instead of, you know, kind of putting it in the introduction. I'd rather hear it from your heart. Artists <laughs> for Trauma is about pairing um, trauma survivors that often involves disfigurement and disability with um, a multiple array of the disciplines of art, photography, film, sculpture, dance, music, and also including Eastern practices oh. to allow the individual to transcend their physical trauma and in the healing process that the vibration mm -hmm. of the process uh, Raj is on, which is why Raj is a great uh, partnering with Artists for Trauma. Yes, rhythm and joy. Having the rhythm, having the joy. <laughs> yes, Ricky Byers Beckwith, as you know, is uh, yeah. so deeply vibrational. And we're really honored to partner with her. Yeah, I, I love being around her. She is a talk about joy. You know, we've been working on this project for a couple of weeks now, or well, months actually. And just being around her, I, I just have to tell you, the meetings that we have are just kind of a blast, you know, and they're so kind of, you know, people are just bringing their, their gifts and their just ideas, and then someone feeds off the other person and all that. And she really, of course, is the captain of that ship and really makes that, allows the Raj that. queen. The Raj queen, exactly. And she, you know, it's kind of like she's put the picnic blanket down and we're all just kind of, you know, going for it so um do you want to tell us a little bit about your story sure um if I that's think, okay <laughs> yeah i i think it's important for understand for people to understand um when they are told that something is impossible or near impossible that there is great opportunity for quality recovery from trauma i am a helicopter crash survivor six years into my recovery and to look at me now it's absolutely unfathomable i agree you are beautiful and <laughs> mm -hmm. here you are you're very sweet you're very sweet <laughs> well i may and be sweet I'm just but that's one true. testament <laughs> <laughs> thank you i'm just one testament of the power of positivity the power of possibilities and uh, it's so exciting to meet uh, ali and danny today and ali is a great testament of this um so i have 43 fractures burns over 40 percent of my body um, my left eye was entirely rebuilt and my face um, was entirely um, restructured. I have a partial amputation due to a blood infection, which often um, is a result of trauma. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so I had always told the doctors that, uh, listen, if it's not going to work very well, you have to make it look good. You get my foot back in that high heel. <laughs> 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 and so here I am six years later. And, um, and you're rocking those heels, and girl. I can wear those heels. <laughs> and we were talking, Allie and Danny and I, and we were talking about how do we help people see the beauty mm. and how do we help them see the art and their new selves. Uh, this type of trauma, the artist for trauma, uh, works with these individuals, these courageous, amazing human beings, um, how do we help them see the beauty in themselves? Because it requires a reinvention, a reinvention of self, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. 
And spiritually, something often happens, or at least we hope that it happens. And I believe that uh, creative engagement and pairing with other human beings who are greatly talented, like Allie and Danny, mm -hmm. Ricky Byers Beckwith, and uh, Luke and the Lovingtons, and so oh, many of yeah. the other talent, uh, Eric Benet, we're so excited. I mean, he's really going to raj the house, right? Oh, my goodness. So yeah. this <laughs> helps that vibration yes. go beyond the limitations of your physical vehicle that happens to be completely exploded and in the reconstruction process that you can rise above and beyond and uh, mm. yeah and the next sta stages so beautifully said thank you for that and I feel like it's about the community too and that is what it's about because I think when people are Absolutely. going through anything even if it's a uh, emotional trauma uh, let alone something that's so insanely physiological like you went through one feels a little disconnected alone all that and so to to you know again the power of one but then the power of the ones you know bringing together the community don't you think? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Sunny, I really appreciate your, your making that um, connection. I think it's important to state the obvious mm. and to help remind people of that, that none of us get anywhere alone. Yeah. And the power of the one, which will also be greatly represented at Raj, Raj. You're is a good, she, Ricky, I'm, I think he's pretty happy out there because you're <laughs> really good at this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, you know, <laughs> we have to um, honor our queen and al also mm -hmm. honor the intent, yes. the intention. We're manifesting intention um, through action mm -hmm. and, uh, and an integrity of action. Mm. And there is a great community of integrity of action coming together at Raj of our collective community and in the recovery field. And um, I call them, as we all know, this, this slang term, our peeps. Yeah, our right? peeps. <laughs> and that we're <laughs> sharing resources uh, yeah. for the uh, spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, the limb loss um, community uh, in such a way that we offer real resources at Raj, an opportunity to engage with these individuals, amazing testaments like Ali Stroker, Ricky Byers Beckwith to just, you know, take the roof off of the house with their yeah. rhythm and joy. So there's a real yeah. community of resources. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing that up. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. And one thing I want to say, and John, I'm just going to let our engineer know that we're going to be bringing our other peeps on in a second, but I do want to mention about the roll with it, flow with it, wheelchair fashion show whoa i love the concept of that so yeah. much being a being a fashionista in my other life you know this is like okay i just love this so much <laughs> the concept is so cool what do you mean other life well yeah. thank you <laughs> okay let's bring other people on can we john can we just you know bring up the cameras and whatever we do and applause yay right. <laughs> thank you so much so we see the beautiful ally stroker and i think it says somewhere a above you or below you the blonde one here yes. and danny shay right here um and wherever you guys are i think we're all in little boxes so we're all on so that's that's awesome hi yeah, people <laughs> oh oh okay yes. well john will get you danny can't on. see my face yet it's a mystery <laughs> uh-huh well danny is here but we will get her yeah, on yes. john's gonna He's magical at that. So, Allie, we will chat with you while we're getting Danny on. All right. <laughs> we'll take that opportunity. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, we may just break into song here in like any moment, just to uh, you know. Just, you never just, know. You, you ne well, you, when you live with this one, you really never know. Well, I was just gonna say, and you don't know me I because you never know with me too. So that's perfect. <laughs> so, Allie, I I have to say I love seeing your your commercial, not commercial, but do I want to say the the audition for the Glee project? It was mm -hmm. just so cool to see the people in the audience and I can kind of imagine that that would be a little even though you didn't look like it a little in, uh, intimidating because there you are just with Glee people like not the rest not <laughs> audience to kind of water it down but just right. Glee people looking at you was yeah. that kind of fun? <laughs> yeah I mean it was a dream come true because oh. I had wanted to be on Glee for years and I the first time I saw the show and I saw that there was a character in a wheelchair I was like this is such a perfect fit. I'm a performer. I'm a singer. I've been done doing musical theater my entire life. And they've introduced this character who's in a chair. And I had never seen somebody young in a wheelchair on TV. And I was so excited that they were introducing this. And then... And in such a cool kind of just okay way. Like not making a big sort of deal about it. But yeah. just like he's one of the peeps again. Exactly. Right? Yeah, they made it just like mainstream in their 
in their Glee culture. Right. And so um, when I had the opportunity to be on the Glee project, I was so excited because it wasn't just audition and then be on set. It was like I got to know the community. Oh. I got to know these people who um, I really believe that Glee changed a lot of things, um, not just in the TV world, Ooh, but yeah. um, in the uh, entire our culture and the LGBTQ amongst, community yeah sure. and oh, for yeah. young people to see um all different kinds of uh, kinds of people represented was so huge and, and in a really human way in a really true way I thought yeah Ooh. I mean it, it just did not get too sad but the way that they handled um the mm. death of that Corey. beautiful of Corey you know I just I just loved the fact that that they actually really brought it in that show okay. in one of the most powerful ways I've ever seen any TV of mm -hmm. any kind mm -hmm. you know and just the different characters and how they do oh my god so yeah so yeah. just as one example yeah and I think that um something that was so special about that opportunity was that once I was on the Glee project they wrote a role for me on Glee and so it wasn't like you were going in for something and you were auditioning to play that part they yeah. wrote a role for me and Whoa, how girl. often does that happen like not very right? often. like dream no. total once in a lifetime dream opportunity so uh <laughs> well yeah. some people say that uh we manifest to the level of where we are so mm. I would just say congratulations Aww, that that you. would happen because thank that's you. a, you know, mm -hmm. that's that's a big one. That's thank a big you one. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Well, you know what? I'm kind of, John, how are we doing? Can we, can we, okay, good, good, good. I'm just kind of in the mood for some music. We're like 10 minutes into this show and it's like, okay, let's do music. So um, you, do you want to introduce your song? Just kind of sure. let us know what's up. Sure. Um, so today I'm going to sing a song called Here's Where I Stand, and it's been sort of my anthem um, since I discovered the song. It, um, it, was, on, it was in a movie called Camp, mm. and uh, it is awesome. The energy of the song is really special. Mm. Okay, so we're going to enjoy, guys. Yeah. Cool. Uh, awesome. We get the in-ear experience. Uh, yes, indeed. I know. I know. Indeed.
I'm counting. Whoa, I'm counting. I'm counting. I'm counting on you. before we came on the show, um, uh, some of their publicists were saying, do you guys have talking points and this or that? And I said, we're just going to go with it. There may be some laughing and there may be some tears. Oh. I know I have them. <laughs> that was, Thank that you. was a, a stunning. Oh, thank you stunning, very much. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Whoa, that is, that's a very powerful song. Are you going to do that, you. Araj? I am. Oh, yay, good. Yeah, I'm yes. excited. I'm really, really excited. You are, you're really, really good. Thank you. I mean, you. you know, one thing that's hard to do, some people may not know singers um, who are not singers, is it, it's a different experience when you sing like that, such a powerful song. It, it, to have an audience and stand and project out is really right. helpful and to do this in a little dinky studio it's <laughs> not so small but it's it's that takes some that takes some chops girl oh, that is you. amazing so john we have danny on right we yes, can actually see her now yes, okay good cool Hello. cool cool so let us say hi to danny thank you so much Alex. Oh, yes and of course hi, <laughs> one Woo! love one love girl oh yeah one love Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Danny, welcome, welcome. Hi. And you're excited to be on Raj and Yes, absolutely. Mm. Um such a such a an exciting um, festival, seeing all the different people who are involved and knowing their um, their intention and their hearts and just how it's all gonna come together is gonna be really exciting. So um, thank the alley, that was beautiful. Thank yeah, you. that Thank really you. was. I always love hearing her sing that song. It's yeah, one of my favorites. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh! Well, soon we're going to be hearing you sing. Mm -hmm. For people who can see, for people who cannot see, you've got a beautiful red guitar in your lap there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a nice feeling, isn't it? Just to have a guitar in your lap. Yeah, it just feels good. It's my little shield. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> so, guys, let's talk a little bit about. Um, about just because this show is a little bit about I mean we can also bring the concept of the artist for trauma you know idea and and just kind of using music so I'm just gonna even ask Danny you first because you are uh, very healthy looking to me uh, on the outside <laughs> so you know as far as music goes and how it's sort of served you in your life mm -hmm. like you were saying the guitar being a shield you know just kind of kind of how is that for you um, well I feel like um, music is it's I did a little Raj interview and uh, one of the questions was like, you know, what has the impact of music been in your life? And for me, it's been my therapy, it's been my best friend at times, it's been the thing that um, when no one else was there, I could literally pour my whole self into it. And so um, it's the thing that allowed, m it, it, it was the cushion or the, or the blanket for me to land on when um, I've been in my lowest points, and it's also been the thing that allows me to express my greatest joy. Ah, uh, yeah. It's um, <clears throat> it's a perfect, it's a perfect um outlet for me, and 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 I think I I wouldn't be who I am, and I don't think I would be nearly as um connected with myself, my heart, my my purpose if I didn't have music. Yeah. And I just wanted to add something um <laughs> about about that that often when we can find um peace in our art that it then so many of danny's fans or my fans have come come to us and said your music or your performing or your being out there has then helped me and it's just this amazing just like circle effect that ripple effect it, yeah. Yeah, exactly that you know music was your therapy and then by you writing all of those things and expressing all of those feelings and emotions, that then has been able to help 
thousands more people thousands exactly. of Tens people of thousands, millions, yes maybe, that's the yeah. really cool thing about it and there have been so many artists that i have felt touched by that have mm-hmm. inspired me to and have um helped me to find my own voice too you know um alanis morissette is a great example mm-hmm. she's someone that i've admired and looked up to and listened to for years and years and years and a lot of i think uh my singing i learned from her and um and i think even subconsciously i was picking up her her messages and um so yeah, so music and the d- the deep effect that it's had on my own life, and then how it how it does spread out and and touch other lives. Hopefully yours. Whoever, yes. Whoever's <laughs> Who's ever watching mm-hmm. us and playing with us today? And Laura, let's talk to you because you're not a musician, but you are an artist in your life. And so, I know that. Um, I mean, I think of music. I mean, of course, it's tribal. It's it's ancient mm. it's forever mm-hmm. it's the first thing that we hear our mother's heartbeat we you know music is something that is part of our dna so as far as that goes and just even the concept of chanting or anything mm. and um it's so great uh, laura you have let my soul surrender here these uh ricky's i love this book oh. i really love this book i had her on the <laughs> show uh last week but then a couple months ago and we talked a lot about the book and in this book it's actually the stories of the song and you know sort of what led to writing that mm. song and so it's really captivating it was michael's idea actually to kind of you know do that and uh it ended up being really significant i think because there are a lot of songs in here that people really love and um but maybe you know just knowing that backstory literally mm, yes. adds so much to it and we mm. all have our stories and we also all have um soundtracks you know Mm -hmm. however old or young we are there's music that's always been there i mean for me it's kind of the beatles and stuff you know Mm -hmm. and uh but it's it's just i hear that music and it just it's kind of like again a a picnic blanket for me it's a safe haven Mm -hmm. and the associations in our life are often so deeply connected to the music Mm -hmm. at that um, point in time um right Mm -hmm. all the different periods in our life and thank you for bringing up about this book and one of the things, um, as a former hair designer and very involved in fashion, and an artist, uh, an artist is someone who sculpts energy, and we use a different medium like that. of mm-hmm. art and discipline in, in that way to sculpt energy. So I feel that uh, at this point in my life, the greatest way that I can wield my paintbrush, that I can wield my sculpting tool, is to bring this opportunity of these multiple mediums available to trauma survivors Mm. available to spinal cord injury traumatic brain injury extraordinary medical phenomena limb loss issues so i sculpt i share your energy artists for trauma provides the tools we um are so blessed to uh, partner with ricky byers beckwith uh, someone uh, who has been through um, her own version of uh, recovery from uh, I believe was a TBI. She had a little run in and she tells, talks about it in this book. And uh, so Artists for Trauma will also purchase our musicians and our writers who participate in our program. We provide, uh, we support, give our love to the artists mm-hmm. by um, purchasing your CDs and then we share them with the trauma survivors oh, cool. in swag oh, bags and the love swag. Oh, nice. So this is what we did oh, with uh, Ricky Byers' uh, Beckwith book. Uh, surrender and also with last year the first uh, Raj event nice cool. that's so really cool great idea. That? Yeah, it's wonderful well, I love the idea of, of money exchange for music because, as we all know, in the last number of years, that's gotten a little um, <laughs> snarky. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so that's cool to just really support the artists that way yeah. because it really should be that way. Mm-hmm. I feel like um, when I look at people who have had really outward challenges it's uh it humbles me so much i just want to tell both of you it humbles mm-hmm. me so much uh because i haven't you know knock on wood as my mom would say um and i knock on my head people i don't know where that came from it's supposed to be wood but i guess my head's always with me so that's why i do that <laughs> she's um, <so> funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's an irish thing i think uh but uh you know i haven't had that specific challenge in my life but i feel like i've had other ones where i haven't for some, whatever the reasons so, are been disconnected um from my own self-love and Mm -hmm. and it's like whoa and music does help Mm -hmm. me with that it sort of bypasses sometimes Mm -hmm. my own you know bs mind 
chat or you know and so it belief systems as reverend michael yes. says right yes, and also systems. and also the yeah. singing together in community can really uh you know as we know uplift and that's what's going to again be happening at rhythm and joy mm -hmm. uh being able to come together with people i mean just in every, every tribe and every everything it's about yes. it's about the music and the people coming together in harmony literally mm -hmm. you know literally those you know four part <laughs> harmony yeah. seven part harmony the village Let's bring in in harmony <laughs> right oh, yes. don't you love that though i mean what do you uh, feel about that ali like when, i mean it's it's you have a voice that stands out both mm -hmm. of you do and in a second we're going to be hearing, hearing danny by the way and i um, do have a sing-along part so oh yay okay yay. well you know oh well <laughs> twist her arms um, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but uh, just the idea of singing with people, even though you both have such standalone voices, but don't you just love the feeling of singing with other humans? Oh, it's the best. Isn't it? Yeah, Danny and I are uh, a part of a group called Be More Heroic, Ooh, and like we uh, go into schools. We're a pro-love, pro-compassion campaign um, trying to address the anti-bullying oh, movement. Awesome. And we bring a more... Um, positive and proactive, proactive approach, yeah. approach and so when we all get together and we sing we do uh, school assemblies and when we get to sing together um, something happens where you feel so in sync with others mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, and there's no feeling like it the mm -hmm. same way there's no feeling like singing alone on stage um, but yeah that connection of mm. voice and just mm. the vibration of sound and notes yes is uh, extraordinary like, I like love it. nothing like yeah. it and so really uh just to go real quick on that if you've not seen 20 feet from stardom i think oh is my god yes right <sighs> talking about love singing that. with people and just how and just how much they enjoyed oh, just yes. um they were background singers for those that haven't seen it it's a it's about background singers um it's especially a from like motown a era yeah. and all and um how much they enjoyed that vibration and sharing that together and creating that harmony and just blending the perfect blend and feeling so in sync it's like, oh my uh, god yeah. yeah backup singer i mean that whole concept is such an art form that people don't really who are maybe not musicians don't understand the difference that that it just completely creates the mood and the mm -hmm. vibe and the feel of the song mm -hmm. so much I just, you know, you say that, and I know we're kind of all over the place, but I just want to send a shout out to the Funk Brothers, as long as we're talking <laughs> about that, because, I mean, it kind of, that makes me tear up, too, because for those of you who don't know who the Funk Brothers are, you do know, you just may not know. It's like that boom, 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 boom. I mean, all oh, these sounds that we you. have heard in our lifetime are Funk Brothers God, sounds, so but we sure. don't know because... A lot of people don't know who the Funk Brothers are and were. And they didn't really get that much money, and they certainly didn't get fame. Mm. And so at a certain point some years ago, they they were rounded up. Somebody, I can't remember the director, found them, those who were still alive. And, and they actually went on tour, but they did a movie and all that. So <laughs> we love you, Funk Brothers. In yeah. wherever, wherever you are we in the world and before and out. around the veil and wherever you are, seriously, because it's kind of like that. Cool. So, Danny, we're just going to go right into you. Let's I want some it. music from you, don't right. we? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, do I need a, a mic toward my guitar, or should I? You can point a little more towards it. Yeah, like that's, a, yeah that's good. And, and so? it'll pick it up. Yeah. John's mm -hmm. great at that. So he's like, yeah. And actually, should she just, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Sl slide back a little bit, and we've got it. Mm -hmm. So speaking of oneness, the song is called One. And um, originally, when I wrote it, it was inspired by the love connection that Allie and I share. Mm -hmm. Um, and and how great it was to to meet somebody like her. And then it was it it dawned on me probably when I was performing at one time. It just dawned on me that it's it's about so much more than just these two humans, Allie and Danny. It's it's about all of us. It's about that energy. And although there are some specific lines that refer to Allie, it's still um, I just want everyone who's listening in this room and beyond to consider um, to consider that. And there's a Sing along part. It's super simple, and I'll let you know. I'll cue you in, and um, everyone we'll hear it. And we'll know. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Time is of the essence and the essences of you. 
I have never known someone who does things like you do. You take the time to laugh it up. You call things as they are. You are my, you are my tiny, shiny star. Take me away, uh -huh. take me away, uh -huh. take me away uh -huh. to a place where I become, become one, two, three, four, five. I feel so alive, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, I feel so, I feel so alive, yeah, whoa, whoa, simple times in a simple place have never felt so good. Until we met, I've always felt a bit misunderstood. You take the time to listen close, you part the cloudy skies. Cause even the rain can't help but fall for your big baby blue eyes. Take me away, uh -huh. Take me away uh -huh, to a place where I become, become one, two, three, four, five. I feel so alive. Sing it just like that goes. One, two, three, four, five. I feel so alive. A few more times. One, two, three, four, five. I feel so alive. A little bit louder. Oh, now. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I feel so alive. Last time, y'all. One, two, three, four, five. I feel so alive. One is for the number of days it took for me to fall. Two is when I knew that you would want to play along at three. We started to see how deep it could be if we would trust that four, our love could handle anything that came to us. And at five in the morning, we stop, we listen, we talk, we kiss and we stare. We can't believe we're there. Time is of the essence and the essences of you. Take me away, uh -huh. take me away, uh -huh. take me away uh -huh. to a place where I become, become. Take me away. To a place where I become, we become one. Thank you. One love, one power, all the peeps coming together. Wasn't that awesome? Amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. Imagine when you have song. a whole crowd of people singing oh, yeah. it, and then people so, sometimes get harmonies going. Yeah, it's so good. Yes. Oh. I can't wait I to was go going. I was going there, but I thought we will stay. I know. I know. <laughs> it's like, okay. I, mean, I, you know. <laughs> I can't wait to shout out for the next, how many days do we have to the we 30th? Have ten. About 10 we days. Have 10 days. Shout it out. Yes, oh, how exciting. Number Allie 10. And oh, my gosh. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. So excited. So, so excited. Fun. Oh, my gosh. One um, thing I want to say regarding uh, just an inspirational person, I want to share a story of like one minute. Um, a friend of mine, her birthday is today. Her name is Deborah Stegman, and I met her many years ago, and she is a phenomenal, phenomenal, um, she has a cookie company, it's incredible. What I didn't know about her, uh, well, actually, um, while I knew her, 
she went on an online date and she was hiking in the mountains up in San Francisco area in Marin. Mm. She fell off a cliff. Mm. She got lodged in water. She was supposed to die. She got hella vacked out. She got into the hospital. She, you know, had just multiple, multiple, multiple issues and, and uh, physiological issues and everything. And, as so- and she just got herself to heal to a point where she begged her mom to bring all of her cookie stuff and they let her go into the kitchen at the hospital and bake cookies for everybody wow. so yes. i just share that I story it. happy birthday deborah oh, but i, I just that. isn't that that just it's like i mean she will always be my inspiration and hero and of course there's <laughs> way more to the story but the yeah. essence of it is that right. it's like whoa she was i mean she could barely walk and all that but she was bringing so much joy to the other people and i'm telling mm. you these cookies rock so it was mm-hmm. big joy yeah. um, <laughs> but uh, you know isn't that awesome i Absolutely. love so it so the create so the spe- the human spirit the human spirit sometimes we hear the news and we think different things about especially you know well i shouldn't even say especially uh, often we can look at, we can take our eyes and look someplace and see something really dark mm. and that's kind of what this show is about is changing the channel a little bit and knowing that there's a lot of brightness too mm. yeah like and that you can tune into whatever we were just having a conversation about that this morning like it's like tuning into a radio station or tuning into a, you you can tune in to the vibration the channel the station whatever you want to call it that you you know want to be tuned up with right so tuning into to your show now is is bringing me a lot of happiness and joy. So. Yay, I hope so. Well, again, you know, that's why I named it Singing in the Rain, because it's like this guy who's in rain, which is normally kind of a drag, and by the end of it, he's stomping and jumping and, and mm-hmm. having the biggest blast in the rain. Mm-hmm. And it's also, you know, let the clouds be there, but I'm feeling the love, and, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's just an awesome song, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's why I named the show this, because it reminds me every time I say it that it's like we're singing in the rain. You know, yeah. no matter what's up, we're still singing. That's you know, a great the, point. The music still goes on. You know, the clouds are there, but the sun is always there. The right. sun's like just doing what it's doing. Mm. And we just carry on going through our ups and downs and in and out. And even with the trees and the flowers and the birds. Don't you find it amazing, though, like when you're going through something really emotional and you're thinking, wow, the trees are still growing. Mm-hmm. Do you ever think that? Oh, or like, yes. Oh, yeah. yes, you know what exactly. I mean? It's like, wow, the life sun continues. keeps coming out and the yeah. birds yeah. keep chirping. <coughs> that reminds me of Rise from the Dead. Yeah, that means you. Decide. There's everything that you're saying. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I want to, I want to share this other song with you. And well, you may. We have a little I mean, time. No, we can't. No, no. Oh I no, yes, yes. I mean, no, I, I well, yeah. I rather them enjoy. It. No. Well, okay. Um, well, it's all happening. We have ten yeah, more sure. minutes, so we have. We're going to bring more music. So. Oh. Is oh yeah. That what's happening? Yeah, oh, that okay. is what's happening. I just decided. <laughs> I made an executive decision. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, then, great. Let me just like, tell you what I was thinking. Anyway. Um, Please. That's what I. That's my job, and yeah. that's what your job is too. So right. <laughs> <laughs> there's a song that I wrote that I've just revisited. Um, <laughs> well, there's two songs that are simultaneously being played in my head right now. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> and one of them is is it's called Chasing Madness, and it's a uh, it talks about um, the the well. I think that it's so important to as much as it as it's important to sing with joy and sing and and let all those mm-hmm. expressions out. But it's also so important to. Um, in grieving and in pain mm. and in struggle to tune into that and let ourselves feel it and yes. let ourselves, you Absolutely. know, because I think sometimes people learn, and Allie's told me from her childhood, you know, she kind of learned to put on a happy face mm-hmm. and it was really hard for her to tune into her own pain and to and let herself feel pain and grieving and all that. And so uh, mm-hmm. so chasing madness is a grieving, mm-hmm. it's more of a questioning, a large sense of um, struggle. And uh, and then there's Rise from the Dead, which was written four years prior, but it's about or three years prior, but it's about um, s- similar struggle. But then there's like a lot of hope in it as well. There's a there's the rising, okay. This the is my part. this is my idea. Okay, so you're chatting it, and um, and while you're saying that, is it possible? Because this is kind of how I am when people ask about something. It's like, can I have a little bit of both? Can we have a little bit of both? Sure. Is That's that possible? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah. You want that? And then now? when yeah. you're done, I wanted to say something about this idea of like balancing how, yeah, that how you balance to me too. how yeah. you balance that. Um, Speak to it now if you feel okay. Yeah. Well, um, I think that when you are going through trauma or any kind of pain, it's um, it's a it's you don't really know how much you should allow yourself to go into it 
Like, is and it healthy how long for me? Yeah, is it that. healthy yeah. for me to be grieving for this long? And um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like when I don't resist the feeling, like I'm allowed to cry, that there isn't anybody saying, it's okay, don't cry, don't be in pain. Often yes. I move through faster. Yes. Mm. yes. And it's not as scary to be in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there isn't the judgment mm-hmm. of now I'm upset, I'm depressed, I'm unhappy. This or I'm not a good spiritual feel. person because right. I'm going to this place and yeah. I should right. be rising through and by, you know. Right. And, and exactly. <laughs> all that judgment too. Totally. Yikes. Totally. Well, and also as a human being, part of our structure is we we come with emotions and feelings and right. oftentimes we feel uh, or we're taught or society teaches us that we have to control or contain those feelings and there's a right. judgment and um, sometimes some of us learn that through the embracement and allowing ourselves to to feel them mm-hmm. and to express them and music is so helpful yes oh gosh uh, yes. and allows a, a release mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yes. then there is peace on the other side right of absolutely that. and the, and the oh, process sorry, of coming full circle you have to allow it to come in you almost embrace it and then you find the gratitude in mm-hmm. that release through the entire process of the full cycle mm-hmm. do exactly. we come back to the joy well and i was also when you were speaking i didn't mean to interrupt you but the, the idea of breaking the heart open you know right. it's it's not just a heartbreak let's take that a little step further and it's really breaking the heart open mm. and um so mm. i do that sometimes mm. and i sometimes resist that and then it's like it's it's kind of a sweet bitter feeling mm. but it's like yes um yeah mm-hmm. so let's get really let's okay so, so danny i'm so excited to do i'm a gonna bit sing both. but then another thing came to mind <laughs> <laughs> She's a thinker. Um, this is this is yeah. common. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan of um, uh. Well, there's a couple a couple things. Uh, Alanis Moore said I've already said, but she had a great quote on Facebook recently that was like, um, "We're taught to be ashamed of um, confusion, fear, mm-hmm. anger, pain. We're taught to be ashamed of those things. Like you said, try to hide or control and manipulate it." Um, when in her eyes, what she said is that it's just an, just as valuable. All of them are just as valuable as excitement and joy, and um, because they are messages to yes. ourselves. And if we can learn to listen to those messages and let those messages in, then that's when we can actually move through them and heal, like you said. So yes, and perhaps faster, mm-hmm. like you were saying, also, Allie. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah. we have five minutes, right, John? Okay. Okay. So I'll do a little bit of both. Okay. Cool. So chasing madness was written about, um, well, it was inspired by, I'll say, the death of Corey Monteith, who you talked about earlier, um, who we had both just met a few months prior to that, and... um, Mm -hmm. He was the the gentleman, uh, the young man on Glee, yeah. Yes, and when we got the news about Robin Williams, my heart immediately went back to that place, and um, so it feels relevant. Uh, So I'll play a little bit of that. All right. Thank you. Do we need her to move back a little bit, John? No, no, no. I'm just okay. I'm putting the camera. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay. Too. Perfect. We're so getting this is it. a little bit of a quieter. <clears throat> Chasing madness over something I can only barely conceive. What's happened to me? And if I get there, will I be so satisfied I won't need a thing, even to breathe? Oh, God, if you can hear me now, yeah. What's this drama all about? Do you watch the world like we're on TV? A little primetime reality. Corey, Amy, Michael, Biggie, Tupac, Whitney, 
River, Brittany, Chris, Heath, and on and on. And I could read this list till the break of dawn, but it's never gonna stop till we take it on. I'm afraid it'll be me before I finish this song. I'm on the brink of something, that's what everybody says. Trying to think of how to make it while I, 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 I'm lying in my bed, crying in my head, hoping I'll accomplish what I want before I'm dead. I'm staying optimistic, but I gotta get fed. Racing the clock like everyone else, hanging by a thread. Don't ask me why I'm chasing this madness. I'm facing reality one fragment at a time. My past is really where it began. If I'ma give it to you straight, I was touched when I was nine. Chasing madness over something I can only barely conceive. What's happened to me? I'm just gonna end that one there because I know I only have a short amount Whoa. of time. But if you listen to the and it, and and there's more oh. to it. There's more to the story. So okay, not to be like a little, not to Danny be like, yeah, <laughs> actually, no, Come Danny to Raj. Danny is not, Danny is not in order right now. But that is, that particular song is on YouTube and on my Facebook. But YouTube just chas- chasing madness. Um, would love for you to hear the rest of the song because oh there's well, I'm, I think that's a good cliffhanger. I'm okay. sure people will. Uh, and but then, then this one. This is called "Rise from the Dead," and it goes on six, seven. Um, so this one came to my mind when you were talking about how uh, the trees the trees continue growing. Yeah. Mm. The trees keep. Th- okay, I'll make it quick. The the trees keep growing, and um, all of this is happening in the world, and yet there's all this growth and this abundance and beauty, and okay. And just kind of life going on in a rhythm, whether we are doing whatever we're doing or not, right? right. It's right. like it continues, so it's kind of comforting even to know yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So here Whew. we go. <clears throat> I wait. I dance until the sun comes up, and then I close my eyes. For fear that when I can see, I'll want to run and hide. It's a shame we're all walking fast, talking underneath the trees. Without even understanding, they're helping us to breathe. That's my, ne- my next cliffhanger. Oh, Yay! Whoa. Whoa. That was definitely a cliffhanger for me. The abundance of the universe. There's There's continuing more. I know, to get wait, right. you just said one little part. Okay, one more part. Okay, we, yeah. okay, Allie. Oh, uh, okay, join in, Allie. Okay. The chorus, right? You have to okay, have the chorus. We're going out. We may go. Okay, before you do this, I want to remind everybody that you are listening to and watching Singing in the Rain. I'm Sunny Chase. I have Allie Stoker with Yay. me, Danny yes. Shea, and Laura Sharp, and John our engineer and we're on UBN and we're going to be doing Raj and we're kind of running out of here but we have like one more minute right John? Yeah. Okay so we're so going out to you guys me. okay to right, join cool. in who knows who else might join in. <laughs> join in John if you have Mike. But we can <laughs> rise from the dead we can rise from the dead we can rise from the dead We can rise from the dead, we can rise from the dead, we can rise from the dead. You might not know this part, it goes. Rise. Rise. All right. Is that it? That's what we do. In uh, 5800, what is the name? Topanga, of this? Canyon, Topanga Boulevard. Canyon Boulevard. Mm-hmm. From 11 to 8 30, because of the sound ordinance, who knows what will actually on. happen. There might be an after party on August 30th, which is a week from this Saturday. Mm-hmm. So come and see us. Just, you know what? And support everybody. There's going to be amazing food there. There's going to be, mm-hmm. the artists are going to be selling their CDs. And it's Ricky's vision to have a new concept for a green, community festival so Ooh, it's, it's a new vision village. so let's all be part Bring of it jars yeah. we've got the kumba the village of we've, resources. Got, we've got generations of young and old they're playing together and it's just going to be you know what and it's 
basically free. You can also buy seats under the shade if you want them, but that's the other awesome aspect and the parking is either going to be free or not very much and come with a few people and it'll be great so mm-hmm. Allie will be there Danny will yes. be there yeah. Laura will be Woo-hoo. there yes. I will be there so <laughs> artist <excited>. workshops community <laughs> resources and recovery mm-hmm. awesome. and we are oh, yeah. so I'm just so grateful to you guys for to being you. here today thank, thank you, you. Sunny. thank you